In this course, I'll introduce you to some of the technology available in the SC-130 Physical Science course. I'm going to go ahead and open up what you'd see in the Canvas Student app. It would open up to a dashboard. In this case, I am only in the Physical Science class. You might have other classes in Canvas. Here you can see the home screen. You can click on that and get back to the course introduction and front page. The modules is a real useful place to work from. The modules show you the, the organization of the course. Um, and so it's a good place to start is here in the modules. You can fold them up, open them up as you work your way through the course. And you can see that there are dates within each module kind of guiding you as to what to do. So you might be introducing yourself on the 11th. Um, the links that you see are links to videos. You can link and these, you can then watch these videos. This is a video on an introduction to the course. You can tap to and so these links are usually links to explanatory videos. You'll see that. This is the uh, January 14th, that's a due date. That's an assignment. This is a quiz. You can see that says quiz, that's on the 15th. There are links to material from the book, an explanation of some of the different letters we use in physical science. You can see a sample laboratory report it's also laid out for you so you can see what a lab report should be structured like, the structure of a laboratory report. Here's some videos in Unit 1 and the dates to watch those videos. And down here is the Laboratory Report 1, Density of Soap. This is uh, an assignment. And you can see I have not submitted it yet. It tells me the points when it's due. These Lab reports are marked by a rubric, so I can click on this arrow and go over here and see the rubric. And the, these descriptions will tell me that I'm going to be marked on the introduction, the materials, the procedure, what each of these items should look like. And if I click on a, a number, I can see what the points are. So to get three points in the procedure, I'll need to have the procedures listed in clear steps with each step numbered. Uh, for the materials, a complete list of all materials. The data, all relevant data has to be recorded. So I can see what it will take to get full credit. I can also see that if there's no evidence, if there's no table, I'll have get zero points on that. And these will add up to 71 points. You are being marked for grammar. Uh, essentially, excellent grammar, good grammar, vocabulary, which includes spelling and cohesion, consistent choices and cons cohesive structures. The ideas flow logically, the discussion remains on topic, connect the words, assist the reader. These last three are student learning outcomes for the course. Uh, they are the student learning outcomes. And you're marked on these three as well, exploring science to experiment, mathematical models, and communication skills. So you can see the rubric and know how I will be marking that lab report. Now. In order to submit the assignment, you can see that the submission type is going to be a file upload right here. So I've got to have a file I can upload from my phone. And to do that, I'm going to put this away for a minute. I'm going to, uh, first, Desmos is on my phone. You will need Desmos because that's where you'll be doing your data. That's where you'll be uh, um, putting things together. Here you can see I've got data from a little while ago, so a SOAP experiment. There's the graph, there's the table, there's the analysis for this particular one. So you'll want Desmos on your device so you can do this. And then I use screen capture to capture the screen and set this up for inclusion in a, in a document. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up a, a quick screen capture here of just part to give you an idea of how that part works. but. Uh,
Now you won't be able to see this part, but I'm actually doing a screen capture and I have uh, the ability to edit my screen capture uh, as I work. So I'll come back to that later. And it would actually take three screen captures, but I won't do all of them here because I'd have to have a graph and cut that out, the table, and the analysis. This p-value at the very bottom is going to be uh, very important. Let me get down here. This p-value, that's going to be the density of the soap right there. I'd even copy that. That's going to be the density of soap for this particular laboratory I'm looking at. Let me put Desmos away. Do your report in documents. You can go down at the bottom right, get new document, and you get a new untitled document. You'll be starting from a blank document. Um, so if you're trying to title your document, you'll have to uh, do that from up here. This is where it gets, let's call it lab one. I'll give it a title, density of soap. And I'll call this demo because I'm demonstrating. Uh, and then uh, in the document itself, that's the title of the file. In the document itself, I'm going to have to click on the pencil down here so I can edit it. I now can edit it. This, uh, this the first is going to be done, the title of the document. If you look at the uh, directions, you'll see that that's uh, supposed to be a heading level one. And so I can do that. I've got uh, format capabilities in here. Let me go ahead and make it a header. Okay, yeah, right here. Font, size, text, color, paragraph. So text style, normal text, heading level one. I have to flick around a bit to find stuff. And then I'm going to have my introduction. That's going to be a, uh, get up here to the format. That's going to be a heading level two. And here I'm going to uh, tell the reader in this laboratory. And you can read the directions and see the video on the lab. Uh, this is going to be normal text. You see I'm still in heading level 2? I'll need to shift that back out. That should be uh, just uh, normal text down here. Back here. Oh, sorry, the other direction. Normal text. Make sure you put your paragraphs of text in normal text. You'll have, so you'll have to do some work if you're working on a phone. Of course, you can do your lab report on a laptop. But this uh, video is geared towards helping you use your phone if that's what you're doing. When I'm done with my report, oh yeah, one more thing. Plus, I did say I want to show you how I get that image in. I'm going to go to image. And uh, I believe I better just run from photos from for this case. There's my screenshot. That's how you can get a screenshot in on a phone. So do take a look around. Poke on things. Get used to it. There's videos online for how to use Google Docs. Uh, you just do a search for them. You can see the stuff that you can add to a document from here. Very capable uh, word processor for a for a phone. So I've got it. All changes are saved. What I do need to do though is I won't be able to upload this document directly into Canvas. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, get this thing downloaded, and that doesn't happen here. See the arrow at the upper left. I gotta click on that arrow. There's my lab one in the upper left corner, just now appearing. There's a little hot dog menu here. That's where I can do download at, back at this main doc screen. And so that's what I'll do. I'll click on download at the bottom there. And now I can download that file uh, to my uh, to my phone uh, it, itself. So it, it downloaded a copy of that. You see that at the bottom. I can also, if I wish, Save it as a Word document, that, that's an option as well. Either one, download or save as a Word document. If I want to save it as a Word document, I just click on that. And it will, um, yeah, maybe later. So I can save it as a Word document. That done, with it downloaded, a copy on my machine, um, other Possibilities down here. You can save as Google Docs. You can save as that. That that done. You can then go back to your Canvas screen here. And on the bottom, submit assignment, file upload. Now, you'll need to choose a file, but I'll go to my device, bottom right. Bottom right, device. You'll see lab one, density of soap demo PDF. 
that was that first uh, download that I did there. I down it downloaded as a PDF file, uh, and it's in my recent files. But if I had to navigate to somewhere else, I could. I've got downloads here. There's the download, and so and that's probably the easy way. Just click download; it'll appear right there. And so I'll click on that file, and I'll say, uh, "See where it says submit up there." I'll just go ahead and submit that file. And it will upload it to Canvas so I can mark it when it when it comes up. So I've said, oh, there we go. I've successfully submitted. Here, see, I've successfully submitted. And it's being wait, it's waiting for me now to create it. So that's how you can get a lab report done and submitted in Canvas on your phone. And that that's the main point of this video is to take you through that and some of the other details of Canvas as we go. Let me go back. I've got an assignment done and submitted. Don't forget as you're working through your modules here, but you also can access assignments through the assignment screen. You can also see your grades if you have any and uh, people in the course, pages, the outcomes in the course, uh, and those sorts of things are available to you. Back at the main screen at the bottom, you'll see you have a calendar that you can use to help you stay uh, up to speed with what you have to do. A to-do list, things coming up in all your courses are listed there. Any notifications you might have. And an inbox for sending messages. Now I can't do that, I'm an acting as a test student. But normally you could do that, you could go in there. And I can always get back to my courses by my dashboard. And from there, uh, one other place you can go to check things is syllabus. The syllabus shows some of the syllabus details. And the summary on the right, again, shows you your assignments coming up. So there's many ways to get at the assignments coming up. You can see the dates. But I like the modules because the modules is the only place you can actually see all of the different uh, items, uh, like the videos and the links to the textbook. So you can see here that there are links to the videos on the course, as well as links to the textbook explanation of lab one it's also available to you here in the um, this is a lab one from the textbook moved into canvas and you should read through this it's uh, material is all here you can see the formulas we'll be using and some of these other things we'll be doing for this particular laboratory so all mobile friendly and mobile already and at the end of the week, after you've done everything, you can go ahead and try the quiz. Quiz 2. There you can see you allowed one attempt. So 12 points. You might note the lab is worth 71 points. This is worth 12 points. It's worth a lot less. Uh, and this particular quiz, you have to launch it. It's called an external tool. You launch it from the bottom, the external tool. That's where the quiz is. Uh, these quizzes are launched as an external tool. take a while to load on a uh, there's no time limit it's due in three days it says I can just begin on it so I click on begin and then I can go ahead and take the uh, quiz um, I think it will load all of the questions and again depending on the speed of your link this may take a little while there we go oh, look multiple choice hey there we go so there's a multiple choice and then I have to figure out what the answers are to these here, just type the number, don't put in the units. Just type the number, don't put in the units. Now you can see all of these different things. There's another, you know, uh, it's got nine questions, each worth about a point. Some are worth two points. Uh, so, just a quiz to check your understanding on this week. When you're done with the quiz, you can click on submit. I'm going to go ahead and return. I didn't do anything, so I don't need to submit to it. Uh, and of course, it's not, it does confuse me back when I lost track of where I was. But when in doubt, you've got to use your comfsm.edu account. And I suspect I'm going to land back eventually in my teacher account because I left that other one. Yeah, I've, I've come back into, um, into my teacher account itself at this point. So that's, uh, that's a brief tour of some of the tools that we'll use in the course. You'll want Canvas Student, Desmos, and Docs. I 
uh, I do have a, another video on logging into Canvas Student. But one of the most important things you have to do to log into Canvas Student on an Android phone, which is what I'm using, is you've got to go into Settings in Android. Uh, different in iOS. Uh, but in Android, you've got to go down to Settings, scroll down to Google, go to Google Services and Preferences, and then click on your, your name. You can see Dana Lee Ling, D, CMFSM. If I click on that, I can see I have actually got two accounts logged into this phone, and I can add another account. You, if you already, if you have an Android phone, you already have a Google account. You'll have to add your comfsm.edu FM account, just as I did here. I don't have to add one now. I already have my second account in. But you must have both in for Canvas to operate properly on an Android phone. Very important. Once you've done that, you can then sign in successfully to Canvas Student and do the, the, do the work. Now, when you open up Canvas Student the first time, uh, it will ask you to uh, log in to the school. So you'll need to know the school address, the comfsm.instructure.com. Not instructor, instructure. I'll throw a link down below for that. Uh, and then you can find your school, and then you log in. Uh, you may have to use that comfsm.edu.fm uh, email and password on the app to get the app to uh, log in properly. So make sure you remember those for that. But that's a brief tour. Those are the tools you'll need to get your lab reports done and how you can get your lab reports done.